will stand back and pull on the string when the bird's in there. Joe Segrist, I'm the president and CEO of Purple Martin Conservation Association. The PMCA's mission is to uh, ensure the future of Purple Martins through uh, research and education. We're doing what we can to make sure that this species stays around. East of the Rocky Mountains, where the majority of Purple Martins live, they only nest in human-provided nest boxes. They're completely reliant on humans to provide housing for them to nest in. Purple Martin Conservation Association has several citizen science projects. Our two main ones are Project Martin Watch, which is basically just asking Purple Martin landlords out there to record what's going on in their nests and then send that to us at the end of the season. And our data set now has over 100,000 nests uh, recorded in it, and that's over the span of 25 years. They filled it so much with mud, it's like bending the arm. Mercedes Leofsky, and I am the field biologist for the PMCA. A standard nest check is just lowering the housing um, every seven days, you know, maximum and just taking a peek inside real quick in the colony and recording what you see, whether it be a nest, whether it have eggs, and if they've hatched, and just doing that until they fledge so you can monitor what's going on in your colony. We also have a project called the Scout Arrival Study, and that's as simple as folks letting us know when the first Purple Martin returns to their colony, and that's something that we have over 20 years of data on, and over 65,000 reports on first arrivals in the spring. Bird banding is one of the most basic tools in an ornithologist's toolbox. When we read the band, we document the age, sex of the bird, and the location, the date of when we saw them. At the end of the season, we do turn in all of those um, band readings to the bird banding laboratory. Once you're able to take a flock of birds and you're just looking at them in general, and then you can identify a particular one and gather data on exactly what it's doing, that takes it to a whole new level. We have banded birds that have shown up all the way to the East Coast, Connecticut, all the way down to Florida, you know, as far west as Iowa. So really across the range, but now we're expanding through new technologies and new partnerships. We're just scratching the surface on understanding what Purple Martins are doing down in their non-breeding range. Every time we get a GPS pack back from a migration and we pop it in the computer and we pull up that data for the first time, we're blown away. It's just overwhelming how much we're learning. We're just shocked by the new discoveries and how things we used to think, we're realizing we didn't know what we were talking about. It's all breaking new ground. Purple Martin people are passionate. They love these birds and they want to do whatever is necessary to, to keep them around and keep them healthy. It doesn't take much to start to make a difference in the environment. If it's something as easy as putting up a birdhouse to keep a species going, then you've got to do it. <laughs>